I'll say this. I feel like the way that people were introduced to the video or the whole situation around Lil Nas X right now makes a difference in, in how they're going to talk about it. For me, I saw some stuff about it on Reddit and it was all it was on the black twitter r slash black twitter there's not many black spaces on reddit but i really enjoy browsing through reddit just like i enjoy browsing through youtube and uh it was kind of like it was it was put in a positive i guess i'll say a positive light like oh people mad he really pushed the envelope let him live like you know more power to you type stuff and so I was like, what are they talking about? What did he do? I'm like, okay. But I had all this prefit, like pre-context before I went and watched it for myself. So I can at least say for me, that introduction really colored my my initial reactions. And there's things I've been going through lately that definitely, and thoughts that I've been working on, working through, that uh, definitely color how I look at it now versus how I probably would have reacted to it a long time ago. But honestly, a long time ago, before I was liberating my mind I probably would have been like wow I probably would have said something like that's hella gay in a way that was like <laughs> disparaging to be honest and I would have been like but he do what you do like do whatever you want to do like I don't care if you care I don't care <laughs> he making hella money off of it yeah he is that's, that's definitely facts that's definitely facts um I you know the way I heard about it is like I just heard people talking about it and honestly I didn't really see I didn't know what they were talking about. I did see them. They're like, oh, the pole dance, Satan, and this, that, and the third. That's the first thing I heard about it. I was like, yo, what are they talking about, bro? It just sounded hilarious. <laughs> exactly. I'm just like, he, he drops from a pole into Satan's lap. And, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Does a backflip into Satan's mouth. I'm like, yo, is that, that really happening, yo? Like, <laughs> I'm like, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, <laughs> that's like my first introduction to it. Into and his mouth. I, I went and I, I seen the video things that I hear about like that I always want to check out for myself you know what I'm saying so I went and I watched it and I'm just like you know what bro this, this is probably the gayest music video I've ever seen in my life okay but <laughs> because it just doesn't happen in hip hop no especially in hip hop especially in hip hop like like a dude really a dude could wear a pink fur but people still gonna talk about him in hip hop you know what I'm saying and that's how it's been and honestly I didn't even think of it Lil Nas X necessarily as a hip hop artist, I, I, it fits, but it's like I think he really kind of pushes the boundaries of hip hop, and hip hop's boundaries in general have been being pushed for a number of years about what's hip hop, what's not hip hop, what's allowed, what's not allowed. And so I look at it, and I mean what I see and what I thought about when I first seen it is somebody who's not afraid to be themselves and to really just promote that. You know what I'm saying? And to be about that. People, and sometimes people hate on, hate, hate on people like that. People like Lizzo, for example. You know what I'm saying? Kind of similar in pushing the boundaries for her body type in the way that Lil Nas X was pushing the boundaries for his sexuality. That's a good point that I didn't even think about. You know, and that's the, I, I thought about that when I first seen it. But that video was wild, though. I'm going to let you know. I'm, I don't care what nobody says about it. Yeah. <laughs> I, like this, I like this song. The video's wild. I'm not offended by it. You know what I'm saying? But I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> really well let me just um put this out there because you just made me think of this for one some of y'all know some of y'all may not both Najee and I are both MCs but also we're both hip-hop educators so on a regular basis we're talking about teaching not just writing and skills and um, how to spice up your delivery and all the performance aspects of being an MC uh, but also the cultural and, and uh, historical context of hip-hop so um and sometimes our groups like for right now i have a whole group and it's like mostly white some asian a few black students who are all like sixth grade boys in an affluent area some of them are like i can't even name a hip-hop artist when we first started so i'm like well i'm so glad i'm the introduction to you learning um beyond the stereotypes and beyond what you see as mainstream mass media um, and so something I always do is I remind students of um, three things, but I'll talk about two of them because you just reminded me of them. And the first is that we all are a primary source of our own life experience. And so everything outside of that is a secondary source. So I'm glad we looked at the genius and Lil Nas X talk about what it 
so the song means for himself because art is so subjective you we could all look at this picture and this picture and see what we're gonna see about it but i painted this so i can tell you what was happening when it was being created that's regardless of what your imagination is gonna take from it which is the beautiful thing about art but also it's not to be overlooked that as an artist your intention of your creation is it's not only important let's just go with it's valid because some people can't even accept that for their own feelings and reasons but they're secondary when it comes to him doing what he did the second reminder is uh, you don't have to believe everything you think or hear wait it's your powers and your choice that's mm -hmm. the heading and the subheading is you don't have to believe everything you you think or you hear so we're constantly questioning and dealing with how we're thinking about what what we are internalizing i mean him and i personally and me personally and questioning things that i grew up thinking